Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at Doximity in the healthcare technology industry, 6.8 billion market cap, 6 billion enterprise value. Incorporated in 2010 out of San Fran, they are a cloud-based digital platform for medical professionals in the United States, and the growth is extraordinarily um, impressive. It is going down, though. The revenue growth is decreasing. So it was as high as 78% 2021. It's dampened down to 13.5% the most recent year. Gross margin is humongous. Operating margin, absolutely ginormous with a return invested capital. Very impressive. And it looks like they have very little debt, which is why their ROE and return invested capital are nearly the same. So we see no short-term debt, no long-term debt, $97 million in cash, $666 million in short-term investments. So that balance sheet is as pretty as it gets. Pretty hard for a company with no debt, a lot of cash, huge production of free cash flow to go out of business. Again, I can't think of one. So this will be a fantastic investment if they're really able to grow and you can get it at a good value because I think the business from what I'm seeing is fantastic. Huge, huge increase in cash from operations. Takes nothing to keep this business open and their investments. Um, the buying back shares, making acquisitions and reinvesting. So that's when these types of return invested capitals, when you reinvest and to get that historical rate, that's when you does that definitely, that's when you definitely deserve a premium here. So for Doximity, revenue growth. I mean, if they're able to get 12% revenue growth, I think they deserve 22 PE given that these margins are impressive. They're still reinvesting at the end of a seven year period. They'll likely still have a good amount of growth out of them. For margins, I mean, their margins are absolutely huge as well. Let's do a little bit of a range here with Sherry purchases. 1% is about 68 mil. 68 million plus that 110. I mean, I think that's reasonable. 1% of shares repurchased. And we're saying it needs to fall in half before you get the return like for here. So again, this would be a company that I would be itching to buy as long as it got to the right price. Other companies... I definitely want to get it at a super cheap price. This is one of those ones where you can likely pay a little bit of a premium and just hold it for a long time if you really understand this business and think it's going to be around for quite a while and have this growth rate ahead of them. Because, I mean, they got a lot of growth, huge return on invested capital. They are reinvesting a bit. And so for me, it's a pretty interesting, pretty interesting company and one that I really want to own, but I really want to own it at a price that makes sense to me. So hope you enjoy the video. I'm curious today.